Hey, welcome back guys. Uh, I think it was a couple days ago I said that uh, I would go ahead and uh, do another video when this particular item came in. Um, got off of uh, Macari. Um, when I first seen them, um, I was like, oh man, I've got to be able to have those. Um, when they dropped, I was just a little too late. Was unable to uh, get them successfully. Um, and so I did have to pay the, uh, the premium on the uh, resale market. Um, I didn't go to uh, GOAT or to uh, StockX. Uh, I went to Macari. Um, it's kind of funny because I opened up the account for Macari thinking, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of all this stuff I don't need anymore, but I buy more than anything. So I wanted to show those shoes. I also wanted to show this, this item. It's the uh, Crep Shoe Protectors or uh, you know, to prevent um, shoe creasings. Um, I hear and I see a lot of people talk so highly about them. And um, so here, I'm going to mention these are garbage. Um, if you want to prevent uh, you getting creases in your shoes, just don't wear your damn shoes. Um, I wore these all day today at work. Um, the left shoe, um, felt good, felt fine all day, no problems. The right shoe, horrible. Uh, creased on me. Um, the shoe didn't crease on me, but this did. Um, it would not hold into place, and it also gave me a blister on my pinky toe. Um, so, <laughs> the only way that you could probably use them is if you uh, buy a a shoe that's probably about a full size um, too big for you. Um, otherwise, they will hurt your feet. Um, yeah, there's not much else I can say. Smells good, but that's about it. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe just use them, you know, to keep your hair, keep your shoes smelling clean and good. But other than that, they're garbage. Don't buy them. So, this is the Bodegas, uh, retail is $120, I spent just under $300 for them, um, I don't know, I, I like them, I do, they're very unique, I've never played baseball, you know, in high school, college, anything like that, but it, it's, a, it's a very nice, clean color, colorway, silhouette, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hear that it's uh, to pay tribute to uh, the baseball scene, sport, whatever. Um, as you see, I wore them today. Um, I changed out the lace, so um, they come with the uh, little wax lace in there. And uh, right away I knew I wasn't going to use those. But it did come with the uh, spare laces with the little uh, green tips um, with the black. Um, I did notice that they are fatter and they're thicker. Um, here's the red shoelace and uh, this comes from Jordan, you know, Nike, you know, as a whole. And um, you can just tell that the laces don't, don't look the same. Um, you know, I, I don't know this side, I, I'm going to have to change them back out and make them both black. Um, just because I, I do think that this is a cleaner uh, lace job. Um, I've tried to lay these out flat. Every time I try to push them out, it just goes back. Um, 
You know, the, the only criteria or negative thing I can mention about the shoe is uh, these tongues. Um, I do not believe that they're on their straight um, because this side, it's always turning inwards. Um, this side lays perfect. Never had any issues, you know, with the tongue turning. Um, some of the highlighted points I like um, is this uh, turtle type looking um, design here. Man, Turtle, tortoise, tortoise, there you go, tortoise. Um, same thing along that little jewel. It's not really a jewel, it's just a, a piece of plastic there and you know, you can push it inwards. Um, it has a little uh, stash patch, pouch, whatever you want to call it. I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, it's funny because I said, hey, I think I can put my name badge in there. Just walk into a business and be like, here's my badge. I don't know, I think that'd be kind of funny. Um, these are a size 11. Um, I have some other dunks, um, the Rodriguez ones, and um, they fit a little bit different. Um, I thought they would be about the same, um, but these actually feel like it's got some more padding to it. Uh, I've rocked these a lot. Um, I really do like them. Um, but other than that, um, I don't know what else to really say. You know, I mean, I, I do like the, the difference in the uh, bottoms. You know, uh, it's a, a translucent uh, brown. A um, little cream color here. Um, There's a little leather stitching. Um, I thought that I was going to be able to get the spare laces that look like this, uh, but then I just learned about a couple days ago that those only came in um, selected uh, boxes. Um, it wasn't like it was a families and friends um, box, but um, I guess they just threw them in randomly. Um, so until then, I do got some more shoes coming in. Um, we'll uh, talk about that in about a week or so. Hey, I never showed you this cool little bandana. Yeah. It would have been cool like if it was like a double, you know, side. But, oh, that's pretty neat. Um, this reminds me of like the old school, probably from like the 70s, you know, it does say 1972. Um, uh, a little stitching that you would see on some of the little rebels back then. Um, I thought about maybe putting this into a frame. Um, I've never seen a, a bandana come into a shoe or uh, come with a shoe in a shoe box. So uh, that's something different. But uh, until then, man, take care of you guys. Um, you know, hopefully you guys are uh, on the right path to uh, setting your uh, New Year's Eve goals. Um, I know I got one and I'm failing at it. Hopefully you guys are doing better. Take care, peace out, man.